people of God, how are you? God will provide. God will provide. What you need to survive for the rest of the year, God will provide. For the years ahead, for what we need to survive for the year, God will provide. Okay? I don't need to be in a place where I have to beg an enemy to feed me, to clothe me, to house me. God forbid. I want to pray for somebody today that God provides for you. Instead of you sitting down with people that gossip about you, lie about you, call their friends and tell their friends that they gave you money just with the aim to humiliate the grace of God upon your life. Because that's how Satan is. If Satan gives you $50, he wants to take your head. Satan gives you anything. He tries to make it look like without them, you cannot survive. It's a lie. God will provide. God will provide. All these struggles, financial delays, all these things that we went through too, well, that's God's way of making us know that we can put our entire trust in Him. That's what I did. My entire trust, I put it in God. To the point that I have to wait sometimes, die minutes. If there be one person or two people I can ask for help, I have to wait die minutes before I can talk to them. Because I don't have to let them be my first resolution. You know? Because they have their life to live. This, I'm not speaking in parables. I'm not talking with psychology. I'm telling you reality. I have to let people be. Because they don't owe me nothing. Owe me nothing. So I go into prayer, constantly talking to God, waiting on the Lord, asking God for provision. And when God finally provides and you're able to buy your house, you're able to buy your cars, you're able to live your life, you're able to go back to school, everything starts to work for you, right? That is the season when you should even be more prayerful because Satan does not sleep also and Satan does not slumber. So God will provide. All right? God will provide. I will say this to you also, child of God. The enemy always wants you to get in trouble with God after God has given you everything that you're asking for. Oh, brother, sister, the enemy will come after you again. Why? Because he wants you to become prideful so that you can lose your focus so that you can become distracted so that he can take you back to where he was keeping you in the past when enemies of your life rose up against you because of the grace of God upon your life you will hear people mock you and say oh why well, if you say you're a prophet if you say you're an apostle a teacher of the word of God why are you suffering why don't you have money why don't you have a house why don't you Satan will come and tempt you but you know how Jesus Christ overcame Satan? Luke chapter 4, Matthew chapter 4. The Bible say it is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. After we had fasted and prayed, Satan will come and say, Oh, your prayer was not answered. Oh, no, you're a sinner. I say, yeah, I know I'm a sinner saved by grace. And material things does not mean that a man is with God or not with God. If a man's life does not con a man's life does not consist of the things that he has, you cannot judge any man or woman based on anything that you see them have. Hey, for tomorrow they can wake up and everything is turned into the wind. All right, but my relationship with God will never dwindle, will never shake, because that is where I anchor my faith. For where the treasure of a man is, his heart will be there. There his heart will be. And my treasure is on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. With my shortcomings, with my mistakes, with my failures in life, with my woes in life. Everything I put it in Christ. Satan can do his worst. I would never turn my face away from the house of the Lord. Never. 
you see what happened to me right as soon as we got into the assignment the devil was coming to ask me questions about my assignment and god said can I don't tell them your assignment you will hear satanic people say what is your plan what other plan do we have than to serve god with our lives any other thing that we get in life it is just secondary for nobody will leave the earth with anything that was given to them by god your primary assignment is to please god let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter the bible says, fear god and keep his commandments so be careful church be careful child of god know it that god will provide nobody is allowed to play the role of god over your life because of anything that god used them to do you thank god for them you bless them you wish them well you pray for them and that is it if the day comes and they say they will not help you god bless them maybe the story of the widow at zarephath is over and the story of the ravens bringing food for the prophets is over maybe those are the days and god has to take you into goshen or god has to take you into your own liberty into your own independence and into your own freedom satan is wicked everybody need to be careful in the days when you have be careful in the days when god uses you to bless other people be careful in the days when you don't have be also be careful everything is a test god will provide okay church god bless the body of christ